softcataractcoach.com. Soft cataracts versus hard cataracts. Two different techniques for these different densities of lens nucleus. Now, our guest here is Dr. Pradeep Mohanta. He was on yesterday's Cataract Coach podcast, and you're missing out by not watching that podcast. So you better darn check it out. Now, here's the soft case. You can see starting off, sitting superiorly, making an incision with a steel keratome. I like diamonds, but steel is good too. Now, getting the viscoelastic inside the eye, you can see there's really not much nuclear sclerosis here. This is a relatively soft lens. In a case like this, I'd be tempted to kind of prolapse it partly out of the capsule bag and just chop it up. You can see there's pretty much a posterior subcapsule cataract in the back. Now, step one is getting our rexes done. It does a beautiful job here. No, we had a fantastic podcast yesterday. You really got to check it out. If you're not listening to the Cataract Coach podcast, you're missing out. It is the number one podcast in all of ophthalmology, and it teaches you how to be a more successful ophthalmologist. That's literally all it is. If the name of the game is teaching you all the secrets. Now, starting off here, you can see his two instruments. You've got a nucleus sustainer, and you've got his nucleus splitter here. So put in that nucleus splitter in the eye, and there's a sustainer going around the equator, and you bring the two instruments together and then apart, and now you can chop this up. So again, really nice technique here using these two instruments, a splitter in one hand, and then the left hand is a sustainer, and these two instruments can just chop the nucleus into quadrants. Now putting the phaco probe inside the eye, very easy to remove these quadrants. So again, now just using a high vacuum mode, so high vacuum, high flow, and get these pieces up one by one, and they'll be emulsified with very little phaco energy. So again, nice technique here for a relatively soft nucleus. Now, if the patient has zero plus nucleus growth, like a 40-something-year-old patient, now even this may be a challenge because there's really nothing to chop. That lens can be sucked up probably with the IA probe. But in a case like this with about one plus nucleus sclerosis, this is a nice technique, again, of using the double chopper. So the uh, nucleus splitter in the right hand and then the sustainer in the left hand, which is kind of like a blunt tip chopper. And that sustainer just kind of holds the nucleus in place for you, so you have some counter traction here. Now at the end here, cleaning up a little bit of the lens um, cortex, you can use the phaco probe here. Notice how that chopper or second instrument is being used to kind of keep the capsule back. That's a pretty slick move. Not something I'd recommend for a beginner. But you can see here all the cortex cleaned up with just the phaco probe. And again, if you're not an expert here, you may want to just use the IA probe instead. It'll, you'll find an easier time. Now here at the end, capsule bag is all cleaned up. Now infusion with the left hand, so hydroimplantation. Here comes the lens. Hey, did I tell you about Retina Rounds, our sister channel? It's a fantastic channel for cataract surgeons like you and me. I promise you're going to love it. Please check it out. Don't make me keep telling you. Now... Here we go at the end of the case. Again, everything looks great. Beautiful records, by the way. What a fantastic case. Patient's going to see great. Now, let's talk about the hard cataracts, more density. Here we go. This is Mohanta's submarine chop. Now, look at the difference here. Very dense nucleus. So, first, cleaning up a little bit of the anterior cortical material. Now, look, that's a pretty brunescent lens. Four plus NS for sure. The submarine chop means bury that phaco tip deep, 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 deep to really get that submarine chop. Now, the chopper goes around the equator. And then bring the two instruments together, and look at this. Wow, crack this thing. And it takes some effort, and you can see it's a little bit fibrous, so you really have to spend some time propagating the crack or the chop all the way through. And you can hear the other side as well. Propagate it fully through. You want two distinct halves. You don't want them attached to the middle. Now each half can be sub-chopped. Here we go again. Deep bearing of the phaco tip, and then there's the chopper, and get that thing clawed apart. And again, in these cases, it can be fibrous, so you really want to spend the time to make sure you're getting full separation of the pieces. If the pieces are still caught or stuck together like a posterior plate, you're going to have a hard time removing them. So again, really separate them out. Once you've got them separated, you can chop it into more small pieces like eighths, like coming up right here, or you can simply just aspirate them. Be sure to use some sort of phaco power modulation, like a burst mode or pulse mode to minimize the phaco energy, lower duty cycle. You better know what that, that's all about. Again, we explain it all on cataractcoach.com. Check it out if you don't know already. And again, once this is done, now the pieces can be removed relatively easily. Also remember, if you need to, if you put a lot of energy in the eye, recoat that endothelium with a dispersive viscoelastic. It'll really help your patient have a clear cornea on post op day one. So beautiful techniques here. Again, check out that Cataract Coach podcast yesterday with Dr. Pradeep Mohanta teaching you the secrets of becoming a better surgeon. And also check out his channel. He's got a beautiful YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below. Check it out too. And of course, remember... RetinaRounds.com is our sister channel, and you are going to absolutely love it. Promise.